Hello everyone. Welcome back to True Crime Tales with Cosette. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Before publishing another true crime tale, I want to delve into the complex world of true crime and examine the ethical considerations that come with it in this thought-provoking video. As true crime continues to captivate audiences around the world, it's important to take a step back and consider the impact and implications of our fascination. We're all familiar with true crime, but what about the ethics surrounding it? Today, I'll explore some of the ethical considerations that are involved when creating, consuming, and reporting on true crime stories. First and foremost, we need to be mindful of the victims and their families. While true crime can provide valuable insights into criminal behavior and justice, we must also acknowledge that it involves real people, trauma, and consequences. It's important to remember that these people have undergone a traumatic experience and that sensationalizing their stories may cause them additional pain. We need to be respectful of their privacy and not exploit their tragedies for personal gain. Sometimes the lines between entertainment and exploitation can become blurry. Secondly, we need to consider the impact true crime entertainment may have on our society. We also have to consider the controversial issue of profiting from tragedy. With the rise of true crime media, it's easy to forget that behind every sensationalized headline is a human story. Both content creators and consumers alike have responsibilities when it comes to navigating this ethical minefield. The genre has exploded in popularity in recent years and, while it can be informative, it can also normalize violent behavior and contribute to a culture of fear. We need to be aware of this and take steps to mitigate these effects. Thirdly, we need to be aware of the biases and prejudices that can arise in true crime reporting. We need to be mindful of the potential harm that can come from true crime obsession. From perpetuating harmful stereotypes to glorifying violence, our obsession with true crime can have real-world consequences. These stories often involve diverse communities and we need to ensure that we're not perpetuating harmful stereotypes or contributing to systemic biases. Finally, we need to be conscious of the justice system and our role as storytellers in cases where it's not entirely clear whether the right person is being held accountable. We need to be careful not to jump to conclusions and to avoid demonizing individuals who may be innocent until proven guilty. There are many ethical questions that we need to consider when it comes to true crime. By being mindful of the impact our reporting has on victims and society, and by avoiding biases and assumptions, we can ensure that we're telling these stories with empathy and in a way that fosters healing rather than harm. In conclusion, I want to encourage all my blog readers and viewers to approach true crime with both curiosity and caution, engage in thoughtful discussions, and prioritize empathy and respect for all those involved. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more true crime tales. Until next time, ciao!